This is the Baseball Unlimited recap in review for on Sunday, April 10th, 2010. We're going to start it off with uh, the USF Diamond Dons uh, dropping a 6-5 to decision in a very heartbreaking fashion for the second time in three days. The Dons had a big lead in the late innings and could not be able to win. Dons at one point had a 5 nothing lead before the St. Mary's Gales come back from a 5 nothing deficit to score six unanswered runs in both the 6th and 7th innings to go ahead 6-5. to five. The big blow, of course, was third baseman Patrick Wisdom in the top of the seventh thing with a three-run home run give him three RBIs and then a big hit base hit an RBI hit by the uh, Gales they put them ahead six to five it was an RBI hit by first baseman Troy Channing that proved to be the game winning RBI he went two for four with a pair of hits and the RBI. While for the uh, Dons, Matt Heiserman went five one third innings, giving up five hits, two earned runs. He had five strikeouts. Hayden Hinkle uh, was the losing pitcher. His record will go to zero and two. He lasted only one inning, giving up four earned runs in that frame. As Gale starter Kyle. Barraclough went eight innings, giving up two earned runs with five strikeouts. Three of those five runs were unearned. He gets to win. His record goes to 3-3. Three three. The losing pitcher, Hayden Hinkle, is 0-2. The save goes to Jordan Mills, his first of the season. With the win, the St. Mary's Gales proved their record of 2-1 and one West Coast Conference play, 14-13 and 13 overall, while... The San Francisco John Dons dropped their record to one and two in conference play and fourteen and eighteen overall. So for Don fans, that had to be a very, very frustrating loss. Very disappointed. Um, you know, right now I just you know right now um, I'm just lost of words. Very disappointing loss. I know everybody out there who follow the USF Dons on um, if you follow us on YouTube or you know. Or, or baseball limited, um, very disappointing loss. Um, I know a lot of people, um, a lot of fans, uh, or very a lot of people, including myself, are pretty po'd for the loss. Um, but that's the way it is, you know. It's if it's not the offense uh, struggling, it's the the pitching, the back end of the bullpen, and then like um, and they are what the record dictates. They are fourteen and eighteen. A lot of expectations. This is a series that they should have uh, won especially playing at home where the home field advantage has been has been their favorite in recent years and have not been not good not a good way to start the um, West Coast Conference opener losing two or three they blew a four nothing lead last Friday and the Gale scored nine unanswered runs to lose like that and now um, now instead of uh, possibly at, at at little at very worst two and one, Easily could be 3-0, and but, you know, they are what their record says they are. So, once again, with the Dons losing, 6-5 um, to five against St. Mary's. With the loss, Dons are 1-2 and two in West Coast Conference play. They dropped their overall record to 14-18. St. Mary's, 2-1 and one West Coast Conference play, 14-13 and 13 overall. The Dons will be back in action Tuesday night. They'll take on the San Jose State Spartans from the WAC Conference down at Municipal Stadium in San Jose. The first pitch will be at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can hear all the action with on usfdons.com. Play-by-play announcers Anthony Diabora and Ryan McCrary will give you the play-by-play. Also, over the weekend, your San Francisco Giants uh, taking two out of three. They losing the finale 6-1 to to the Cardinals. Um, and it was a great weekend for Giants fans. They did take two out of three. Two walk-off wins, um, both on Friday and on Saturday. Giants raising the flag on Friday. And then Saturday night, getting their World Series rings. Great day for a uh, great weekend for Giants fans. And it just, um, 
it was a very fun ceremony event. I got a chance to watch the uh, the the ring ceremony. I taped the game when I got home after, uh, and it was a um, great day. So, um, try to take two out of three. They'll be back in action tonight to take on the LA Dodgers. Baseball Limited um, online will be uh, be out there getting some thoughts and reminder the the whole Brian Stowe uh, situation. Um, the Giant fan who got beat up by two Dodger fans who's still in a coma down in L.A. He, um, they'll be uh, honoring him. They'll be, um, you know, there'll be donations at the, bringing in donations before the game. So whatever you could do, please donate. Giant fans, uh, you know, uh, play, uh, be respectful and um, and don't act in the act of violence. Show, lead by example. Please behave during tonight's game. And I'll have a tribute to Brian Stowe, the paramedic, and um, our prayers and our thoughts and prayers to help he get a speedy recovery. So, three games tonight. Giants, uh, Madison Bubgar against Clayton Kershaw. First pitch will be at 7.15 Pacific Standard Time. For the latest news and scores, go to baseball unli- MLB blogs. Dot it- BaseballLimited.MLBblogs.com for all the latest news and scores. And that's going to do it. The, this has been the Baseball Limited Report. I'm Brian Davis. Thanks for watching.